Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the differences between butterfly koi and regular koi. I previously made a video about the differences between Shabunkin goldfish and Comet goldfish. And just like in that video, when I started researching the topic, it turned out that there is a lot more to the differences between these two fish than I originally thought. So in this video, I'm going to be going over one, the physical differences between the two fish, two, whether butterfly koi are actually even koi fish at all, and three, the origin of the butterfly koi. So if you guys like this video or if you guys find this video interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And let's get started. Behind me is my pool pond, and in there I have a butterfly koi. Let's check them out real quick. Notice his long flowing fins and tail? This is the most obvious and significant difference between butterfly koi and regular koi. The older a butterfly koi gets, the longer its tail and fins will get. Butterfly koi have long fins because of a genetic mutation which results in the length growth gene to fail to turn off. Oftentimes, when this mutation is encountered by fish breeders, they will breed the mutation and that's how you end up with other fish like long-finned oscars. Even the barbells around the mouths of butterfly koi are quite a bit longer than the barbells on regular koi, and regular koi have much shorter fins and tails. And while butterfly koi and regular koi do have quite a few differences physically, they actually do share some similarities. Both butterfly koi and regular koi have the potential to grow anywhere from 12 inches all the way to 34 or 36 inches in the jumbo varieties. There's a video on the Foise Aquatics YouTube channel of a three foot butterfly koi that he has in his pond. And in my secret Beverly Hills Koi Pond video, I personally saw a couple of very large butterfly koi as well. And under the best conditions, both butterfly koi and regular koi can live up to 25 or 30 years. And just like traditional koi fish, butterfly koi also come in many varieties. Now let's move on to our next topic, which is whether butterfly koi are actually even koi fish at all. From what I've seen online, I've seen quite a bit of controversy over whether butterfly koi are even considered koi. And a lot of people online say that butterfly koi are not koi. In fact, from what I understand, all the big koi competitions excluded butterfly koi until around 2015, when the AKCA, Associated Koi Clubs of America, introduced new criteria so that butterfly koi could also compete in competitions. To determine if butterfly koi are actual real koi, we need to look at the origin of traditional koi fish. Some say that they originate from the black carp, others say the Amur carp, or other kinds of Asian carp. 
But according to the USGS.gov website, its origins are ultimately unknown. Although they do say that koi fish are closely related to East Asian carp groups. And in 2008, koi was actually recognized as a carp subspecies. And in 2015, a lot of the other subspecies assigned to koi became synonyms. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the exact origin of our modern day domesticated koi fish is unknown. The only thing that we know for certain is that koi fish are descendants of East Asian carps. Which brings us to our third topic, the origin of butterfly koi. Butterfly koi were first bred in the mid 20th century. And while it is unclear who was actually the first to breed this fish, a US company called Blue Ridge Koi and Goldfish claim they were the first. And although butterfly koi were bred in Japan around the same time, Blue Ridge was the first to market and sell all these fish as butterfly koi. Butterfly koi were the result of breeding a long finned carp from a feral population in Indonesia with some high end koi at Blue Ridge. And this brings us back to our second question. Are butterfly koi actually real koi fish? And in my opinion, the short answer is yes. Here's what I think. Through the research that I've done to make this video, it appears that the bloodline of koi isn't as pure as a lot of people claim it to be. Since all we know for certain is that they are descendants of East Asian carps. Who's to say that a carp from Southeast Asia bred in would change the classification of the fish? In my opinion, it would be like saying a person from Bulgaria is not actually a European because they are from Southeast Europe. And if a Bulgarian had a child with an Italian, that child would not actually be a European. I hope that kind of helps illustrate my point because of course that child would be a European. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. I'll put a link to the US usgs.gov website down in the description of this video in case you want to check it out for yourself but let me know down in the comments what you think and once again guys if you guys like this video or if you found it interesting i would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out tremendously and if you would like to see more videos by me in the future make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button i'm uploading new fish videos every friday and thank you all so much for joining me and i will talk to you guys in my next video peace Hey, what is up YouTube? I am here with, with Rico. And I totally forgot I'm editing this video right now and I was about to export it and I remembered that I was supposed to put in some pictures of my friend's aquarium and pond because what happened is in my fish video last week, I asked people to send in pictures of their fish or their fish tank, their pond, anything. And people sent them in, but my buddy Vertigo117, he also has a channel here on YouTube. He sent me his pictures a little late, so that video went up without his pictures. So I told him, hey, I'll put them in next week's video so i'm gonna put them in right here so check it out guys first we got um his aquarium he has some guppies in there and this is actually the aquarium that he aquascaped in a aquascape off kind of competition that him and i had between each other i aquascaped the tank he aquascaped the tank and this is the tank that he aquascaped i think it came out super cool he has some guppies in there really nice the next picture that is a picture of his pond in his backyard and he has this thing it's like a, a diy nitrate filter that he built himself it's like a pipe and he has plants growing out of them and then he pumps water through that pipe and the roots they like take out the nitrates i think that's like a super cool idea and then the last picture it looks like we got one of his goldfish and his butterfly koi i believe he has two butterfly koi he has one that's like all white that's really cool that's like the yellow one really nice but yeah, I'll go ahead and leave his YouTube channel link down in the description of this video. And if you guys would like me to feature pictures of your fish, your fish tank, your pond, anything, just DM me pictures of them on Instagram and I will put them in one of my upcoming fish videos. And in case you're wondering guys, this thing I'm wearing, it's called a Snuggie. It's like, it's, it's the most comfortable thing ever. I highly recommend them. And these are just blue light glasses. I don't actually wear glasses. These are just for when I'm on the computer. They block the harmful blue light that your computer screen emits. They are also very handy. But yeah, guys, I will talk to you in my next video. Peace.